Hey guys, welcome back to Getting Stronger. Today's episode, I'm gonna title The New Shoe Review. I'm gonna show you guys three, that's right, three pairs of shoes that I think you're absolutely gonna love to jump rope in. And then at the end, I'm gonna tell you which of those three I think were the absolute best. You don't wanna miss it, so stick around. Hey everybody, I'm James. I started this channel because one day I woke up and realized I was 43, but felt like I was 83. Every day, my body could do one less thing than it could do the day before. So if you're like me and you've had enough, and put on your shoes and welcome to getting stronger. Okay, so part one of this video, the decision. So uh, normally I don't keep a lot of shoes uh, laying around the house. I typically have about five pairs uh, and they're each for a very specific use. So shoe number one is my hiking shoe. So for the past uh, year and a half, two years, I've been using these Alpinas. Uh, these were actually a hiking shoe made in Slovakia. Uh, so they're pretty rare. You don't really see them here in America, uh, but these are absolutely fantastic hiking boots. Okay, shoe number two is I typically have a trail runner. So for the past year and a half, uh, I've been using these. Uh, these are my absolute favorite trail runners I've ever had. Uh, these are the Solomon uh, Speed Cross 4s. Uh, eventually, I'm going to upgrade to the 5, uh, but these are my trail runners. Okay, so shoe number three is a pair of cleats. Here in the UK, they refer to them as uh, studs. I have these for two reasons. One, because uh, people here play a lot of soccer, and I figure eventually somebody's going to invite me to play. And two, I run a lot of uh, boot camp style classes, uh, exercise classes out in fields, cricket pitches, soccer fields, things like that. Uh, and it's really wet here. And so I wanna make sure that I have good traction uh, so that way I don't slip and fall or uh, you know hurt my ankle or something like that. Shoe number three is typically, I try to keep at least one pair of like uh, regular running shoes. Uh, for the past year, I've been using these. These are the Adidas uh, Ultra Boost. Uh, and these are the most comfortable running shoes, like regular running shoes I've ever had. And then shoe number five, uh, I try to always keep at least one pair of cross trainers, so that way when I'm lifting weights or doing CrossFit uh, types of exercises, I have uh, a cross trainer. And my most recent ones, uh, I've been using the Nike Metcon uh, React. Uh, and these are really cool, so I've been using these. Eventually, I'm gonna go into the uh, Nike Metcon uh, 6 uh, and give them a shot. But uh, anyway, these are the ones I've been using. So anyway, those are the five pairs of shoes uh, that I typically keep here in the house. Now, uh, with my hiking boots and my trail runners, uh, I really don't have to replace them very often. Uh, a lot of times I don't live anywhere near uh, a forest, mountains, trails, stuff like that. So I don't use them uh, nearly as much as I would use uh, the other types of shoes. So I only have to replace them every two or three years. Uh, but my regular running shoes and my cross training shoes, uh, typically I have to replace them every year. And I normally do that on my birthday. Now, if you guys have been following this channel at all, uh, I'm sure you know by now that I absolutely love uh, to jump rope. I jump rope more than any other uh, form of cardio. I jump rope probably 30 minutes to an hour a day, uh, sometimes more, five to six days a week. I think uh, flat out, it's the absolute best form of cardio in the world. If you wanna know why I think that, leave me a comment down below, ask me, and I'll get back to you. Now in the past, uh, typically I jump rope in just my regular running shoes uh, or my cross training shoes, uh, things like that. Uh, but I decided this year, uh, when I went to replace my running shoes, uh, because those Ultra Boosts are really kind of wore out, uh, I decided it just doesn't make sense anymore uh, to jump rope in running shoes, uh, primarily because uh, running shoes typically have like 90% of the cushion, if not more, uh, in the heel. Uh, and that's because when people run, uh, their heel strikes the ground first, and then they just kind of roll up onto the forefoot and off. Uh, but primarily, uh, the majority of the uh, impact with the ground is in the heel. So of course, uh, shoe manufacturers put all the cushion uh, in the heel. But when you're jumping rope, it's completely opposite, right? My heel never touches the ground. Uh, all the impact with the ground is in the forefoot. Uh, so I just decided it doesn't make uh, sense anymore to uh, jump rope uh, in a shoe that's made for running. So I decided this year I'm going to replace those uh, running shoes uh, with a shoe that's really uh, better designed uh, or suited uh, for jumping rope. Okay, so that brings us to part two of this uh, video, which is the dilemma. And the dilemma is there's absolutely no shoe manufacturer out there that makes shoes just for jumping rope. Uh, I dare you check it out. Uh, go to Nike, go to Adidas, go to whatever you want. Uh, you can check it out. Uh, basketball, check baseball, check, uh, soccer, running, weightlifting, tennis, golf, check, 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 check. Scroll through their website, right? Volleyball, check. Uh, but jumping rope, eh, not so much, right? So of course, this means that uh, when I'm jumping rope, I'm gonna have to be wearing a shoe 
that's designed for a completely different sport or activity other than jumping rope. So hence the dilemma. If I'm gonna be wearing a shoe that's designed for another sport, which sport do I choose? Well, since jumping rope really just involves a lot of high repetitions of uh, vertical jumps, I decided to look at sports that involve a lot of jumping. Uh, so naturally, the first sport I thought about was basketball. Then my brother suggested I check out volleyball shoes. Uh, didn't even know they made shoes just for volleyball, but uh, turns out they do. So anyway, uh, I decided that I would check out shoes made uh, for basketball and volleyball. So that brings me to part three of this video, uh, the experiment. So naturally, the first thing I started doing was uh, going through reviews online. Uh, what are the best basketball shoes uh, for jumping? And uh, pretty much, no matter what review I checked out and no matter what list I saw uh, for basketball shoes that were the most comfortable to jump in, uh, there was always one shoe that came out uh, ahead, which was the LeBron 17s. You can see a picture of them right here. So then I started doing the same thing for volleyball, right? And uh, on almost every single list that popped up, uh, either at number one or number two was the Mizuno Wave Momentums. You can see them here. I boiled it down to the Nike LeBron 17s uh, on the basketball side and the Mizuno Wave Momentums on the volleyball side. So then I got both, uh, then I tried them for about a week, went out and started jumping, and uh, I have to be completely honest with you, uh, both of those pairs of shoes lived up to their reputations. All of the reviews were absolutely accurate. So first off, uh, the Nike LeBron 17s, uh, I've never wore a pair of shoes that had a more comfortable cushioning system uh, on that shoe. Uh, not only on the heel, but on the forefoot. Um, that was absolutely fantastic. They had like these little things they call a uh, zoom pods. Uh, and the LeBron 17s have two right up on the forefoot. So right where your forefoot would, uh, you know, strike the ground when you're taking off and landing, they have these great little zoom pods uh, to provide you cushion. It almost felt like a spring. Now, the second thing I liked about the uh, LeBron 17s, and I know this is going to sound so superficial, uh, but man, their colorways were just awesome. It's like you put those things on, you go outside, and immediately you feel like your swag level has gone up like tenfold. But uh, one of the things I didn't like about the uh, LeBron 17s, uh, were that they were mid-top, uh, I guess mid-top, they weren't a high top, but they certainly weren't a low top. Uh, they came up to my ankle and uh, they just really kind of felt hot, heavy, uh, and kind of bulky. Now, at first, this didn't bother me because uh, we're getting into fall and winter uh, and it's cold out here, so I thought maybe uh, the bigger shoe, the heavier shoe, the warmer shoe, it might feel good outside in the cold weather, right? Uh, and I guess for a little bit, it did. Uh, but where it really kind of started, um, being a drawback was uh, when I started jumping rope uh, in circuits. Uh, and the truth is, a lot of times when I jump rope, I jump rope as part of a circuit, right? So I have one station, two station, three station, and the jump rope is one station. Uh, and when I got to that particular station, uh, the LeBron 17s were fantastic. But when I transitioned away uh, from that station and I went into something else, uh, maybe a burpee or something with a slam ball or a sled push or, or anything else uh, where I really wanted to feel quick and nimble, that's where the LeBron 17s really started feeling close. Monkey. But now on the other side, we had the uh, Mizuno Wave Momentums, and they were exactly opposite. They felt great when I was circuit training. They were low, they were light, they were fast. And for a shoe that's that low, light, and fast, uh, they actually had a remarkable uh, amount of cushioning in the forefoot area. I was really surprised. The cushion in the forefoot on those shoes were really, really good, but they weren't great. The LeBron 17s, now they were great. So in this experiment, if I had to choose between uh, the two, I would have to pick the LeBron 17s. Um, specifically because the experiment uh, is to find the most comfortable pair of shoes to jump rope in, not the most comfortable pair of shoes to do uh, circuit training in. Those are two completely different questions, right? Um, and so, uh, since I'm really just isolating it uh, to the most comfortable shoe to jump rope in, I'm definitely gonna have to give the nod to the LeBron 17s because the cushioning system in the LeBron 17s, uh, bar none, is fantastic. It's the best. So that brings me to part four of this video, uh, the solution. You're probably thinking the solution, I thought the solution was just to uh, buy the LeBron 17s. Well, it's not that simple. 
uh, because as much as I love the cushioning system in the LeBron 17s, uh, deep inside, I just wasn't content. I couldn't pull the trigger on the shoe because uh, to be honest with you, I really loved uh, the lightness, the quickness of the uh, Mizuno Wave Momentums. So I didn't know what to do. Uh, I really wanted a shoe with the cushioning of the LeBrons and the speed of the uh, Wave Momentums. So I started praying, you know, looking for a miracle. And then all of a sudden, the heavens opened up. Behold, the Nike Air Zoom BB NXTs. Check out these shoes. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, check those shoes out. For real guys though, uh, these shoes are fantastic. They are the solution because uh, what these guys are is a basketball shoe. Uh, they're not a signature uh, basketball shoe. Signature being like the LeBrons or the Kobe's or the uh, KD's, right? Uh, these aren't attached to any particular athlete, so they're not signature. Uh, but these things are fantastic. What Nike did was they actually took uh, those zoom pods uh, that are in the Nike uh, LeBron 17s and they put them here in this shoe in the air zoom I don't know if you can tell but uh, right here uh, in the forefoot there's these two zoom uh, pods and so every time I hit the ground I'm just kind of springing right off of those zoom pods uh, it is absolutely fantastic so I have a shoe here uh, that has the cushioning of the LeBrons, but as you can see, they're super low, super light, super fast, super quick, uh, and they feel just like uh, the uh, Mizuno Wave Momentum. So I got a shoe that fell right in the middle. Uh, all my prayers were answered. Uh, I got a shoe now uh, to jump in that has the cushion of the 17s uh, with the speed and quickness of the uh, Mizuno Wave Momentum. So it's kind of like uh, half basketball, half volleyball. It's heaven sent. Plus, it comes in this awesome cool colorway uh, with this black and kind of like this uh, neon yellow uh, kind of color. I don't know if it's yellow or green, but it's just super awesome. You can take a look at it. And what I love about it too is the, uh, uh, the collar of the shoe, it just fits like this really comfortable uh, soft sock. When you put your foot in, it just kind of just slides right in and then the uh, collar just wraps right around your ankle. It's got this really nice thing here inside the collar, like this extra uh, cushioning pad. So it's great when you're just jumping constantly uh, for 15, 20, 30 minutes. Uh, it really protects your heel. Everything about this shoe, even the laces are awesome. Uh, a lot of times when you have shoes, you have to double knot them uh, because the laces come loose. This is like the first pair of shoes I've ever had where I could actually just single lace them uh, and not have to worry about uh, whether the uh, laces were gonna untie. So I know that sounds silly, but it's really nice having a pair of laces that just kind of work, right? Okay, so that brings us to part five of this video, the conclusion. And the conclusion is, in all of the years I've jumped rope, uh, these are absolutely the best and most comfortable shoe I have ever jumped rope in. And they cost about $130, uh, which is pretty much right on par with the uh, Mizuno Wave Momentums. Uh, they're cheaper than the uh, LeBron 17s, which usually come in about $180. Uh, either way, $130 is pretty competitive. Uh, if you go out and you get these, I promise you, you're absolutely going to love these shoes. So if you are out there looking for a great new pair of shoes uh, this year to jump rope in, uh, you can try the Nike uh, LeBron 17s or the Mizuno uh, Wave Momentums, uh, and you're not going to be disappointed. You're going to love them. Uh, but before you do, I'm really encouraging you uh, to give these uh, Nike Air Zoom BB NXTs uh, a shot. Really give them a chance. Uh, I think you're really going to find uh, that this shoe is the best uh, of both worlds, and I don't think you're ever going to want to take them off. So that's it for this episode in this uh, new shoe review. If you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful in any way, make sure you give me a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment down below, let me know uh, what shoes you're jumping in. And if you have a pair of shoes that you're interested in and you're curious about, let me know. I'll try to get my hands on them and I'll jump in them for about a week and I'll review them and let you know what I think. So until next time, remember as always, Psalms 139 verse 14 tells us that each and every one of us were fearfully and wonderfully made and we came from the hand of our Creator above. Our Heavenly Father loves us and He loves you and He's got a wonderful plan for your life. 
If you haven't taken the time to get to know him, I'm inviting you today. Hit your knees and begin to talk to him. Begin to get to know him. When you do, you're going to find out that he is more than wonderful. And he's got a mission for you, a purpose for your life. And that mission is going to require you to have energy and strength and vitality. And we get those things by taking care of ourselves, eating well and exercising every single day. So for the rest of this day, whatever you eat, whatever you drink, and whatever you do, that's right, just keep getting stronger. And I'll see you guys back in our next episode.